We've been diving deeper and deeper into ventilation as a topic on this home performance channel. And if you crave even more than that, I have a training that's now on buildingperformanceworkshop.com that will take you through case studies and how exactly to tune the ventilation in any home uh, using the five factors that we talk about here. So this today is gonna be about how to commission, which just means test, an ERV aka an HRV, and I'm linking on screen now a video about why I don't ever recommend HRVs generally. ERVs will work and be the better option for over 90% of all the homes um, that we would be talking about on a channel like this. And really all those two things do is they're equalizing ventilators. This is a way to dilute the air in a home so that you can uh, reduce the pollution inside. And an equalizing ventilator equalizes these two streams of air and in this one, we've got up here is outside, down here is in the house. This is a Renew Air SL70. And this is a great piece of equipment. It has a lot of the same features and test methods that a lot of other brands will incorporate also. And so um, we'll take a look at these nipples that you can see here on the front. That's how you're gonna do that. By the way, let me just say a quick caveat. I do not recommend ERVs for everybody. ERVs are just one method for ventilating a home with dilution air from outside. You can also use something like an air cycler. If you wanted to just do one way ventilation, if you don't have an extremely airtight home, you could absolutely make this work, this dilution, without this actual piece of machinery. These are important for very airtight homes and you can't basically do bath fans in this case. Outside being here, there's a fan on this side and on this side. This fan draws air from outside, the dilution air that we're talking about, which is not always fresh, by the way. If there's a forest fire nearby or if there's a lot of traffic or pollution today, then it might not be as fresh as inside. But air comes in, comes through this very nice filter, which deals with that freshness issue. This is a MERV 13 upgrade that's available on these Renew Airs. Um, not all brands have that as an option, by the way. Check into it. Then it goes through the energy recovery core and goes into the house to be distributed either into the central duct system on the return side. So you can go again through another filter. That would be really cool. Uh, or room by room into the bedrooms generally. And on this side, we've got stale air being drawn from the house coming up through this fan here, going through a much less hardcore filter. This is a MERV 8 going through the energy recovery core and going to outside. Just because this is installed in someone's house does not mean that it's working properly. And so you wanna use this feature right here on the Renew Airs, which is the controls for the EC motors. ECM is what you're looking for. And that means that it's variable speed. So I can turn up and down the two fans that run the outcoming air and the incoming air so that I can set them maybe at different levels if I want to, or make them perfectly balanced, or whatever it is that I want to do, I can do with this. Some brands have not gone to EC motors. They still just use dampers, which means I'm like choking off the airflow, which hurts the fan. It's a little noisier. It's just not as cool. So if you can, try and stick with EC motors. This is where you control the EC motor portion of this uh, Renewer ERV. So this pressure gauge, is an important topic because the only thing you need to test these is a one channel digital pressure gauge. Digital because it makes it more accurate. This one happens to be the DG8 from Energy Conservatory or TEC. And it's about a $600 piece of equipment. Think of it as a test instrument, not as like a tool, like a screwdriver is a tool technically. And I have one of those right here. You will need that too. This does not cost $600. The reason I pay $600 for this is because if you get one that's from an HVAC shop that measures only in inches of water column, like this one also measures in pascals down to a 10th of a pascal, this is gonna be a more accurate piece of equipment. So if I get into an argument with somebody who has a less expensive piece of equipment, I win because my tool is nicer. So just consider that as you go. We're gonna to need to measure the pressure across the core. So I've got a nipple here and a nipple here. These two work together. And then the nipple here and here, these two work together. And they come with little plugs in them. Hopefully the plugs don't get lost. Um, depending on which brand you get, the plugs either are completely removable and then they just go somewhere. Um, who knows? So we get this thing fired up and you can hear it start to work. Now in the manual for whatever uh, brand you are installing, it will show you a 
pressure curve and it will show you how they want this tested. There is a high pressure side and a low pressure side. The high pressure side is always where the fan is, the closest to the fan. So the fans are on this side and these are the more passive. So this is high pressure side, low pressure side. So we can plug there on the incoming fresh air stream and we can see <clears throat> that in inches of water column, we have rounded up about 0.4 inches of water column, which correlates on this stream of air, which has a MERV 13 filter in place, to about 62 CFM coming into the house. Now let's flip and take a look at the outgoing stream of exhaust air. And again, if you mix these up and you do the high side with it, the wrong hose, all that will happen is that this number will become negative. Don't worry about that too much. That's something that can happen, so it's fine. Um, but here we've got 0.32, but closer to 0.3. But that also, because it's going through an easier path with that less hardcore filter, means about 55 CFM, a little over. So we're about balanced on low speed, which is where we're starting. Now, if I want my low speed to be about 60 CFM, then great, I can just leave it right here. But if I want to adjust it, then I can use a small screwdriver and just tweak the outgoing air and the incoming air streams for low speed. Most ERV brands are gonna have at least a low speed and a high speed, so you, can, you should be able to set this on most brands. Now, when we switch into high speed, again, you can hear it ramp up to a much higher level. And on this Renew Air unit, in order to enter into edit mode, you have to press the edit button, which is right here. Now we can use the dials when we want to adjust it. We can see that the outgoing stale air is coming in at about 0.65, right between on our chart, the 0.6 and 0.7, which equates on the outgoing stream of air to about 120 CFM. So now we can say, okay, well, that's double what I had at low speed. Do I want that? And if I do, great, I can leave it right there. If I don't, then I can change the setting on the return air side of things. Now let's test the incoming dilution air. We can see that we're remarkably getting about the same pressure reading on the incoming stream of air from outdoors but because, again, we're passing through this thicker filter, the MERV 13 option in there, that means something different for the CFM. So the airflow here is actually more like 100 CFM. That means that less air is coming into the house than leaving, 20 CFM less, which sounds like a lot, but actually I've got another video about this myth of pressurizing or depressurizing a house using an ERV imbalance. So we'll leave that for another time. But in all, nobody that I have ever heard would recommend that you keep a house under negative pressure. So we're not gonna let that sit. We're gonna go ahead and adjust this incoming airstream. And go ahead and turn it up as high as we can get it, which is 0.9 roughly inches of water column. And that on our chart equates with about 140 CFM. So now we've flipped the equation and I have 20 CFM more coming into the house than is being exhausted by this device. And that keeps our home under a constant, very slight positive pressurization. Bottom line, it's important to remember you can do anything with ventilation and you can have the kind of home that you dream of. There are devices out there to help you. No one device is perfect for all homes, so shop around. Look at the features, look at how you test these things, how easy they are to work with, who has worked with them before in your area. And of course, remember that this piece of equipment right now, we just tested with no ducts on it. And that's very nice. And they do that at the lab before this piece of equipment left the Renew Air factory, they tested it just to make sure that it worked. That's great. But of course, once we add something like this, it is going to impact the air flows and the pressures depending on how smooth and straight this duct is and how long it is and where it goes. So remember to test 
in the field. Don't just rely on the testing from the factory. Um, I hope that this has proved useful for you. I hope that you post questions uh, and comments on other brands of ERVs that you'd like to see on this channel. Uh, I address those personally. Please do like and subscribe. Tune in next time.